Scanning deep structures in the human brain, Princeton researchers are shedding new light on what happens in the brain stem while a person is performing simple mental tasks. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. This lab hosts behavioral experiments inside a system for functional magnetic resonance imaging. That's a way to map brain activity as it happens by tracking localized changes in blood flow. Researchers here are enlisting a variety of experimental tools and insights from traditionally separate disciplines to try to work out how complex behavior arises from the biology of the brain. In this case, grad student Kimberly Dardin used functional MRI to look deeper than this method has allowed in the past. Basically, she found a way to pull a reliable signal out of a lot of physiological noise. Her experiments focused on a tiny area deep in the brain stem where an important neurochemical called dopamine is produced. It's a very old part of the brain. We share it with lizards. We we're looking for activity that we could localize to um, dopamine areas. And so we had to be able to see those dopamine areas and then make sure that we could really, um, really find the activity, you know, the task related activity that we we're looking for. One study recreated well established animal experiments using human volunteers, mainly Princeton undergraduates. In a second set of experiments, subjects watched a computer screen and played a guessing game, knowing they would win or lose money on each round. Meanwhile, Dardenne and colleagues watched for activity where brain cells release dopamine. For many years, dopamine, like other neurochemicals um, that are similar to it, have been thought to play relatively simple roles in, in regulating behavior and, and emotions. Um, for example, dopamine was thought to be the feel-good juice. The emerging picture is not so simple. Center director Jonathan Cohen explains. Cells release dopamine not only when subjects get rewarded, but also when they're learning about rewards. We're going to look at um, a suggested role for dopamine in the updating of working memory. And so that, that's, that's the next step for this work. And these are the sorts of things that we could only measure indirectly until Kim developed her methods. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.